guys! So welcome to the March 2019 Sephora Play Unboxing. We got it right here. And I have my beautiful husband to assist me. Only because people have clamored for me to stay. Regard even though you can see perfectly fine that, well not perfectly fine. I, I wouldn't push it. You can <laughs> see, you can see well enough to, I, I can get along. to do this on your own. You hold that for me. Open it up, show them what it says inside. Show off and share using hashtag Sephora Play. Hashtag. I'm going to sneak a peek in here. See, uh, ooh, I don't know like this. Just came out with this. Oh, yep, here we, here we go. Our first item is titled, this is a spring theme. It's okay. called Beauty in Bloom. Oh. This is <laughs> titled Spring is in the Hair. This, oh, it's Amika. This is Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, an oil absorbing spray that instantly refreshes hair and adds volume. This quick no wash cleanser is the perfect match for your second day hair. It leaves strands soft, smooth, and volumized. Plus, the scent is oh so fresh. So, <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is what we carry at the salon I work at. And I'm a big fan of Amika. It's that smell I know. I, I love Mamika so sea much. Sea buckhorn berry? Mm hmm. That's what that smell is. I know. I just know it's sea but Oh, that smells so familiar when I come yeah. in there. So I've, I've used this before. I've used this a lot on my clients. And I've always had really, really good results with it. I feel like with this formula, I have, obviously, my hair's black. And I don't feel like there's, I know, incredible. <sighs> I don't feel like you get that weird white cast and it really does absorb a lot of oils. It doesn't give you that like, sometimes with dry shampoos you feel dirtier after using them because it just makes your hair feel gross. Crunchy? This does not do that. No, it's like this weird grippy, gritty, gross feeling, All right. but not, not with this. So this I'm, stuff's great. So I'm going to tell you what this is. Okay. I'm going to read it like, it like it's actually written here and then I'm going to tell you what I thought it said. Okay. So this is NARS. It's bronzing powder in Laguna. I thought it said bronzing powder in lasagna. <laughs> I was like, what the hell kind of shade is lasagna? A delicious shade. Oh, God. All right, this is a buildable powder bronzer that delivers a radiant look with a soft but shimmering finish. Spring has just arrived, so you're probably still working on that natural sun-kissed radiance. Until you get it, this bronzer has, has you covered and is ideal for adding warmth to your complexion and contouring, which is very important. Contouring is very important. There's Laguna. Oh, it has a little mirror. That's cute. It's got a little mirror. Oh, little mirror staring back at me. And that's not just this lighting. Like, that didn't really show up at all. Which, I have a bruise on my hand, too. Um, I mean, I'll try it. Sometimes any bronzer I have that isn't something I picked out tends to be a bit dark on me. But this seems like it's pretty sheer, so I could always build it up or just go for more of a natural kind of thing. But I'm excited to try that out. I've never had a NARS bronzer, so that's pretty exciting. Again, they used a reusable bag. Your once a month squeal inducing bag of amazingness is here. Is the front any different? Nope. Still the same. Is that an avocado? Are you an avocado? That is an avocado, isn't it? Like right there. there is that go. an avocado? Congratulations. And I... there's a nose right next to it too. Oh, so that's let's wake up and smell the avocados. Weird. All right. They don't have a smell. Next is and you gotta figure out how to open that. Next is from Urban Decay. It's an eyeshadow primer potion. A primer for your eye look that ensures vibrant, crease-free color and 24-hour wear. Why this is a spring must-have. Feel confident that your eyeshadow is on point all day with this primer potion that preps lids for long wear looks. It glides on smooth, works with works for all skin tones. <laughs> Like, of course, it better work for all skin. skin. It, it works for all skin tones and dries invisible. You just add a touch of primer to your eyelids and blend in before applying your eye makeup. I always do that. I mean, there you go. 
looks like a nice neutral color. Nice warm fart on there. Da, 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 da. Blend in your eyes. That's a lot silkier than I had anticipated it feeling. I am also. I'm gonna silkier. wait a little bit, see if it gets tacky. You're tacky. You're tacky. All right, this is from Supergoop. It's unseen sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 40, an invisible, weightless, scentless sunscreen that provides broad spectrum SPF 40 protection. This innovative sunscreen uses a unique oil-free formula that glides easy onto the skin. Plus, it provides shine control and delivers a velvety, makeup-gripping finish. That's, I mean, it's sunblock. Man, they made it sound so much more than that. Oh, it's got a little... Eh. I got it. I think. Oh. It's clear. <laughs> yeah, you gotta show them. You know, it's clear. It's clear. It feels really nice. I was wondering what you were doing. It doesn't have a sunblocky smell. Like it literally smells like nothing. It smells like skin. Yeah. All right. Next is your Diva Curl Low Poo Delight Mild Lather Cleanser, a mild lather shampoo for wavy hair that delivers weightless moisture and body. This balanced, lightweight formula that cleanses the scalp and controls frizz is ideal for wavy hair. I'm going to use this in my beard. Nope. It is ideal for wavy hair. Lotus Flower delivers bouncy strands, while a chia flaxseed extract blend defines waves. I'm using this for my beard. So this is a shampoo. It's a beard shampoo. So I've used... Um... Shampoo before. <laughs> I've used this line before. <laughs> and... Sometimes I feel like it works really well with my hair, but sometimes I feel like with there's like low poo, so the poo thing, it's the bubbles that you get from the. I'm shampoo. really glad we're going to address this because we're going to address the poo. We're going to so, talk about the poo thing. The low poo formula has very little sudsing. The no poo formula has absolutely no sudsing. I am way too immature for this conversation. So let's just move with on. With the the no. I always felt like I kind of had like a weird waxy feel to my hair afterwards, like a residue, like it didn't quite get my hair after putting all the way clean. After putting poo in your hair? After putting poo in my hair, I didn't feel like it was completely clean. I mean, <laughs> with this kind of thing, it's meant that you don't really have to really use a conditioner afterwards because you're not excessively stripping your hair of all its natural oils and everything. But I have curly wavy hair that is really dry so I feel like I'm gonna end up conditioning anyways just because I feel like it's not gonna it's not gonna be a good time if I don't but we'll see I mean I'll try it I'll let my hair air dry I'll re-wet it again and put a curling product in see how it works with that just to give it like a fair shot you good no okay all right, so this month's bonus item is the Muschino Fresh Couture. This fresh and joyful scent is also feminine with opening notes of mandarin and ylang ylang. What the hell is ylang ylang? I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, it's an eclectic and modern brand. Muschino brings ironic, fun surprises to its fashionable scents. That looks way too much like Banaka. Somebody's gonna spray that in their mouth. Good. Let's do it to let's let's like set this up so one of our friends sprays perfume in their mouth. Mm. Hilarious. I want to use that as a prank. All right, so it's uh, floral, mandarin, raspberry, cedarwood. That's the. Oh, that's nice. No, that actually does smell all nice. I'm, I feel I'm not like bothered by it. The Windex oh thing kind of threw me off. There's a, little a bit. cat. Yes. Look at the kitty. I love kitty. There's a cat on me. It's like they knew it. I don't. I'm not very good at this. There's a kitty down and at the bottom. And uh, there's our insider points right there. If you ever, if you ever want these, I'll mail them to you. She never uses them. I don't. <laughs> She's so bad. Um, so this is a 
spring themed. Yeah. Because spring is in the air. As today is St. Patty's Day. Notice my stylish new hat my darling wife got for me. Because it's green. And on green, you wear same on St. Patty's Day, you wear uh, green or you get pinched. Gr- I, I, I do have green on. Um, so this is definitely a seasonal themed mm-hmm. box with the bronzer, sunscreen, dry shampoo, because you get I think, sweaty and stuff. I feel like the perfume's like a spring smell, too. Yeah. Oh, so. no, definitely. Yeah, I definitely think. I mean, it's... I'm a little surprised that I got two hair products in it. I don't feel like that happens a lot. It says low poo delight on it. Yep. You're so <sighs> much over. I'm such a child. Uh, so can't. I guess pretty good box. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited. There is a little bit of tackiness to the eyeshadow primer. Just not like as much grip as I'm used to with the paint pot. I feel like that has a little bit more. Is, is paint, paint, paint pots a thing? Yeah. This is a... A MAC paint pot. That's what I typically use under my eyeshadow. Oh, so stuff goes under the eyeshadow? Oh. Yeah. These people want me to do your makeup. I don't know any of this. But it's fine. Oh, it's well, watch so some James Charles videos. You'll be all right. I, love, I do love me some James Charles and some Jeffree Star. So, that's what I got in my play box. Uh, what did you guys get in yours? Are there any base items that we both have what were you excited about what were you kind of disappointed or you felt like they hit they missed the mark let me know down below if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel i'd love to have you like the video if you did like the video and hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams you can also find me on facebook at reanimator reviews and twitter and instagram at reanimator and i guess that wraps it up all right, people, if you want me to do her makeup, I'm going to think of something. Some type of milestone that we have to get to on the channel before I do your makeup. Because that is going to make me extremely uncomfortable, and I'm going to make them work, work for it. I haven't decided <laughs> what it is yet, but I'll think up of something. And then we'll announce something on the Facebook and Twitter and all that fun stuff. So stay, stay tuned if you really want me to do her makeup that bad stay tuned i'll let you know how this is going to happen but for now have a good time happy st patrick's day guys bye